what is up guys so today I'm gonna be showing you how to get your second village the fastest on a speed server so today we're playing as Romans which means our settlers are the second cheapest or the second most expensive ones uh, depends on how you want to put it since there are only three tribes in this game so you will basically just want to complete the tasks let me switch this to English um, from the task overview and you're gonna want to end up with these buildings in your building or in your village center. You're gonna want to upgrade your main building up to level three first. You're gonna want to upgrade a or just build a cranny, then build a uh, where is it the granary, build the embassy, upgrade your warehouse to level three. Where is it? There you go. Uh, upgrade your main building to level 5, then uh, granary to level 3, yeah, uh, warehouse level 7, and then just start doing the military tasks, which are barracks, barracks level 3, and academy level 1, and then lastly the blacksmith or the, what is it called, uh, smithy level 1. And obviously you don't forget the wall and marketplace. And uh, later on when you get the wheat fields up to level 5, you're going to want to construct a mill. Or actually you're going to want to get your wheat fields to around level 2 or 3. And then just boost one of them up to level 5 in order to get the mill. Since it gives you basically a lot of resources. Uh, pretty much enough to upgrade it to level 2 straight away. But you can just use those to either upgrade some of your resource tiles or just put that towards your second village. So uh, what you want to do with the resource fields is not this. You want to end up with each of uh, iron, clay and wood resource tiles at level 3. Because that's basically the uh, optimal way of doing it. Your uh, wheat fields, I just put them all on 5. Because wheat fields cost less than other fields. But give the same production. Which means it's basically better and they return your investments faster than the other ones uh, the hero your point should always be in the um, into resource production so or uh, yeah heroes role material production you should always put those into uh, into your hero so as you can see i decided to put one into combat power but that just in order to prevent the hero from dying However, I think with the Roman hero, since it has 100 combat power, or strength, and maybe even the Teuton or goals, you can just put the first 4 points all into raw material production, uh, because the hero regenerates his health every time that he levels up, which is pretty, pretty frequent in the early game. Uh, so yeah, you also want to farm the oasis, like all the time. Because uh, in this version of Travian, the oasis aren't actually... They don't actually produce or spawn any animals until the beginner's, beginner's production is over. At least once you clear them anyways. So that's actually a good addition in order to help you grow even faster if you have time and obviously troops. And yeah, after you have your fields, wheat fields on 5, resource tiles on 3, uh, other than wheat obviously. Uh, you just have to prepare the residence and train, uh, train 3 settlers. So that's it. Obviously the, uh, the granary level requirement is different for each of the tribes because you have uh, Romans that need, I think, where Romans, 5,500 wheat per settler, Teutons need 6.5k and the Gauls need 4.9. So you actually don't have to upgrade your granary up to level 7 as a Roman, only up to level 6 and level 5 as a Gaul because the... Uh, the wheat storage is not necessary for the Roman. The only reason I upgraded my granary up to level 7 is because of gold consumption. Since we are running 5 wheat fields on uh, or 6 wheat fields on level 5, we have a huge wheat production in comparison to other resources. And that's why I just decided to upgrade the granary up to level 7 since it gives us a bit of more a bit of more of a leverage with the uh, overflow in the granary and obviously that's why we can we can just uh, save a bit of gold during the uh, during the upgrading of our residence or building towards our second village 
So I think we've covered it all. We've covered the resource tiles, the buildings inside, that's basically just a tutorial. We've covered the hero with our strength and uh, resource production. And uh, the farming, the oasis, which is actually a lot easier in the current game version. So yeah, after this, you just want to upgrade your residence to 10, train 3 settlers, and send them out to your desired location. Also, don't worry about the culture points. As you can see, currently there are 270 points missing, and we're only producing 70 a day, but our resource production is good enough to, I think, build or establish a second, uh, second village in about a day, day and a half, we'll see. So, uh, because you get, you get culture points with these, with the task, right over here, you get 170 or 67, and then you also get uh, 50 CP the second day of the daily missions. So that also helps you towards your goal. And that's about it for the task. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next time. Take care and enjoy.